All right, what's going on everybody? So today's video, um, we had Chris Bankus come up today, bring me some mice, thankfully. What's going on everybody? We have plenty of snakes that need mice. Um, speaking of which, for those that don't know, we start out our babies on mice, uh, usually for a pretty good while. So if you buy a baby from us, usually it started on mice for the reason of it's just easier to have 300 mice than it is to have 300 rat pups. So just uh, throwing that out there. All right, so today's video, um, I kind of suckered Banks in uh, sticking around for this because I'm going to... I don't really want to do this video. Um, I really wanted to wait till we had some more uh, mandarins on the ground before I done this video, but I'm getting blown up about it. Um, I'm honestly tired of talking about it with people, so I just want to get this video out there so that I can just send them the link and they can find out all the information that I am aware of as well as the productions that we have done thus far and the results that we've gotten from these productions which coincide with uh, two other breeders that I'm going to mention in this video have the same uh, results as what we've gotten. Although I know many other breeders think that there's different results. So, and I'm going to learn right along with y'all. Yeah. So this, this video may be a little sketchy because I've never, I ain't going to say sketchy. This video may be a little bouncy because I don't really know how to make this work. Uh, this is all going to be new to me. So I'm just going to put this out there the best I can and hope Cassie can edit it because I don't really know what I'm going to be doing here. So uh, we're going to show off some of these animals and we're going to show them off in some different lightings. Um, and then we're just going to go for what, go for broke, I guess. Got to shed some light on the situation. Shed some light on the situation. So, but anyway, let's start it out with what is uh, in our Mandarin. So... For this video's sake and for me just talking, I'm going to drop the NR off of this and just call them mandarins. NR uh, was basically put out there for the guy that originated the gene. He wanted the NR there for NR mandarin, the, his line of mandarin, I guess. Uh, not that I know of any other line, but um, mandarin. So I'm just going to use mandarin here. So what is mandarin? Mandarin is, from what I can see from what we have made, Mandarin is a gene that has a super, and the gene is very, I hate to use the word OD in this, but it gives a really rich black and really or more orange down it, but it's definitely not in the OD realm. So uh, some similarities, but definitely not the same. So yep. uh, you get a really rich black and some orange. So let's show off to start with what a single gene mandarin looks like under my lighting that y'all are used to that i take pictures of and then we'll go from there all right so this is a single gene mandarin uh our or one of our breeder males is a super mandarin which you'll see him shortly this is one of his offspring so this is a single gene mandarin under normal everyday lighting here at HWE. Light. So this lighting, I have been told, uh, makes the mandarins more orange. So wanted to get a video of this mandarin and this light. Supposedly it makes a difference. So there you have it. All right, so now we are outside direct sunlight this is what this animal looks like in direct sunlight all right so next up uh under our normal lighting here hwe this is a mandarin pinstripe so as you can tell you there is some uh some difference here from a normal pinstripe i wish i had a normal pinstripe to compare it to but this definitely is a mandarin pinstripe uh, which has a fresh mouth in it, thanks to Mr. Bank is here. <laughs> it's a little brighter, you can tell. <laughs> yep. So, all right, so you see it now under our normal lighting. Let's get it under this special, quote-unquote, uh, enhanced lighting. 
All right, so this is under the enhanced lighting. Um, Cassie's not used to doing this and neither am I. So we're gonna try to do the best we can here. But this is a Mandarin pinstripe under enhanced lighting. And again, we're back outside under natural direct sunlight. So this is what this animal looks like in natural sunlight. This is uh, a Mandarin hypo. So this is a, a single copy. Woo! Ooh, got me. Almost. Of Mandarin and obviously hypo. So this is under uh, the light here at HWE, what we normally use, which we've always had success with. I feel like we've had success with really good pictures and most accurate as possible. Um, so this is also the snake that you currently see on Morph Market if she hasn't sold by the time this video comes out. So, all right, so Mandarin Hypo. Now let's check out what she looks like under uh, the enhanced lighting. This is under the enhanced lighting. So Hypo Mandarin. So this is again the Mandarin Hypo in direct sunlight. No super, just Mandarin Hypo. All right, and I think pretty much everybody that I've talked to, um, everybody that I know that's dealing with Mandarin or would like to get into Mandarin, pretty much would uh, agree with what we have seen thus far. On those three animals, the Mandarin, the Mandarin pen, and the Mandarin hypo, everybody pretty much agrees that that's what those are, okay? Um, we've talked to numerous people, even people that don't agree with what we call our supers, um, will agree with the fact that those three are correct. So, now, supers. This is where everything has tended to um, snowball into a mess, basically. And what we have discovered last year, we actually discovered this last year, but we wanted to get some more testing done uh, as far as you know, breeding done to see what the animals were going to result in. And this year, with just two clutches that were showing off, um, we can 100% confirm that what we thought last year is true, and we have more stuff coming uh, that will, I'm sure, will prove out to be what we believe uh, is super Mandarin. So, before I get into, well, actually, I have, yeah, before I get into the other three supers that we have here currently, I would also like for everybody, I got to pull my phone out. So, give me a second. I would like for everybody to uh, check out our friend over in Europe. And I'm not going to even pronounce his name because I'll butcher it. But we all know that Justin uh, visited with uh, Wilhelm. Wilhelm. Um, we're just going to call him Will because I don't want to butcher his name. Yeah, um, I wouldn't try that either. <laughs> so Will back in give me a second guys back on january 19th of this year made a post about his experiences with the mandarin gene so he has a quite a uh quite an interesting uh experience with mandarin um if you would like to screenshot this or possibly go to his page and read it you're welcome to I'm not going to read this out loud, but I can tell you that his uh, experiences with the Mandarin gene coincide with the experiences that we have had. So we have conversed with him a little bit and basically what we think is correct according to him as well. This also, this article mentions Pete uh, I might be, might be butchering this name as well, but Pete knew it, knew, he knew it. Let me see if I can. So, yeah, New Newton, sorry, Pete Newton, which is where the NR Mandarin originally uh, originated from. Uh, Will got his animals directly from Pete. Um, hmm. So, anyway, 
good article. Go check this out. Go read it. Screenshot it. Uh, read it later, however uh, you would like to do that. I also want to point out another breeder, Dave Palumbo. Down at Palumbo's uh, ball python, boas and pythons, I think. Sorry, can't remember off the top of my head. But uh, we've conversed with Dave, and Dave actually produced some super mandarins many years ago. And a lot of people uh, started hating on Dave and actually asked him to remove some of his videos and pictures that he was saying were the super mandarins mm. because they were un, 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 believed a different thing. Anyway, this, it, it turned into a big mess. Um, but Dave has gotten the same results as we have with, with the super mandarins that we have made. So, um, Go check out some of the stuff that Dave Palumbo has put out on the Mandarin Gene as well if you would like some more information about it. So, all right. Whew. Tired of talking already. Let's talk about our Super Mandarins. Super Mandarin with Hypo. And, you know, there's a lot of controversy on what the Super Mandarin actually looks like. There's a lot of controversy on what Mandarin Hypo looks like. But we've already showed y'all what a Mandarin Hypo is. And now we're going to show you what the Super Mandarin Hypo looks like. And this is it. So let's pull out just so for comparison purposes. All right. So this is the Mandarin Hypo that y'all seen earlier. This is the Super Mandarin Hypo. Very, very little difference here. But there is way more orange in this. And I'm not sure if the cameras are going to pick this up but I can promise you that there is a difference here. So under the enhanced lighting, this is the Super Mandarin Hypo. And this is the Mandarin Hypo. So Super Single. All right, so this is the Super Mandarin Hypo in natural light. You've seen the Super Mandarin Hypo under three different lightings. I can tell you that even in these videos, which I haven't even seen yet, that there is a difference in the way these animals look in person versus on these videos. So I know for sure that what you're seeing and what I'm seeing is still two completely different uh, pictures, even under natural light, enhanced light, and our normal uh, lights that we have in here, these animals are ridiculously hard to photograph or pictures or anything else. So, you know, I, I don't know what to do light-wise to give you all the best representation of these animals other than you gotta see them in person. Yeah, I kept bouncing back and forth trying to look right here and then look on the camera and it, it didn't really pick it up. These animals do not photograph well. They do not. It just It's just extremely difficult to get good pictures and videos of these animals no matter what you do. So if it's a project that you're interested in, then you're just going to have to find somebody that you trust and trust that they're doing what they need to be doing and aren't lying about their animals because I promise you when you get these in the mail, they're gonna look entirely different than what they do um, in person or go to a show and pick them out. So now, uh, most people are not gonna argue the fact that this is Super Mandarin Hypo. This next animal is where the argument is really going to begin. So let's check that out. All right, so without further ado, this is the Super Mandarin. And I know there's going to be some talk about this video all over the United States <laughs> and all <laughs> over the internet. But this, in fact, is the Super Mandarin. So the pairing on this was a Super Mandarin to a Mandarin pinstripe. And we also have a Super Mandarin pinstripe that we'll show off here in a second. But this is the Super Mandarin. 
And everybody's going to be like, Tony, that doesn't look like all the pity, uh, videos and pictures and stuff that I've seen online. Well, that's because, in my opinion, and many other opinions, key word here, guys, opinions, is a lot of people think that they're producing super mandarins when in actuality they're making mandarin hypos. So a lot of people are getting confused with the fact that mandarin hypo is a super mandarin when that's not the case. The super mandarin outside of hypo does not look hypo. This animal doesn't look hypo. Not, not hypo. Not, not yeah. at all. So a lot of people are making these hypo uh, mandarins and calling them supers and that is not the case. To more validate uh, the information that I'm giving y'all, we're going to show off the dad to this clutch, which is a Super Mandarin. So we're going to drop that video right here. All right, so this is the Super Mandarin male. Again, y'all are going to say, well, that's not a Super Mandarin. Well, yes, this is a Super Mandarin. Everything that this male produces is Mandarin. He has also proven, not knowing to us, but he has proven out to be, guess what? Hypo. So this next animal that we're fixing to show is one of his sons from last year where all the controversy from uh, Chris Davenport and Tony Thomas at Hardwired Exotics came from. So this is a Super Mandarin that we produced last year. Put it up for sale and that's really when people started talking uh, about us not having real Mandarin. That's about the time that um, for lack of better words, Justin had just picked up some from somebody and he called his Super Mandarin the one that we posted on Morph Market, which is this one. Um, people thought that we were incorrect. So what we decided to do was just pull all the Mandarin, Super Mandarin stuff that we had and just kept all of it. And this is one of the ones that we kept. And as you can tell, Again, this is actual Super Mandarin. So we have uh, numerous people who have gotten the same results and we have the results of um, the Super Mandarin that uh, Sire that you just seen um, has produced nothing but Mandarins for us. So in the end, that's our opinion. Um, that is what we believe, what we have gotten with the results that we have bred. Uh, is there other opinions out there? Of course. Are there other beliefs out there? Of course. Are the other, um, you know, is it two different lines of mandarins? I don't personally believe so, but that's, you know, that's, an, that's your opinion to have as to what you believe. I just wanted to put this video out here to let people know uh, what you're potentially getting into and uh, how cool the super mandarin is and how unhypo like the super mandarin is so we're going to show him off on this enhanced lighting so that y'all can get a feel for how super mandarin could possibly look like under enhanced lighting and then we'll get out in the natural light as well all right super mandarin in enhanced lighting all right so natural sunlight this is the super mandarin all right, so this is the Super Mandarin pinstripe. And uh, you can definitely, let me get this other one out. So you can definitely tell there's a pretty big difference between these two. And again, I don't know that you will be able to tell much on the camera, but I can tell you in person that the Super Mandarin pinstripe is much different than just the regular pinstripe. Yeah, the, the orange is a, a lot deeper. Yeah, I actually, this Super Mandarin pinstripe to me is probably the coolest Mandarin with the exception of some hypo mandarins that we made last year, uh, this this one right here, out, uh, let's, let's say it this way, the Super Mandarin pinstripe outside of hypo is probably the coolest mandarin combo that I've seen thus far. Yeah, I mean, it looks good. Yep, you can really, you can really see the Super Mandarin in that combo. It's really orange, uh, it looks good. All right, so this is the Super Mandarin pinstripe under enhanced lighting. And this is the Super Mandarin pinstripe under direct natural sunlight. 
All right, so uh, I think that was uh, as fair and honest as possible. Again, I can 100% I can say that these animals do look way better in person than they do on any of these videos. Um, but I will say that the super mandarins that you see out there that look hypo, um, in my opinion, are uh, mandarin or possibly super mandarin hypos. Um, I see a lot of controversy on that. So just use your best judgment. Just use whatever you believe in, whatever you think. Um, what, do you, what do you feel? I feel like they're hypos, especially if y'all put in the work to test it. I mean, you have no gain really by, you know, making sure that the information is correct. Yeah. Um, just putting just putting the facts out there. Um, you know, I think it's I think Mandarin, just like every other gene, has its own spot. Um, you know, where you want to take that is completely up to you. All I'm doing is putting the information out there that we have done. I'm not saying anybody is wrong. I'm not saying anybody is right. Just putting the information out there that we've gathered so do you agree though that the animals do look different oh 100 person because you got he got to see a little bit of the video as yeah Cassie i was filming. bouncing back and forth between them on the table and the camera and you can't really pick up the difference yeah. on camera gotcha as much as you can in person they look totally different in person gotcha so maybe go come come see us at the show they don't us right around the corner yeah we're going to take all these with us if they're not sold um in arlington so but uh Banks actually made up a good point, too, about showing the difference in the Super Mandarin Hypo versus the Super Mandarin Non-Hypo, compare them together. So that's what we're fixing to do, and that's what we're going to end it out with. So let's get with it. All right, Super Mandarin Hypo next to a Super Mandarin. And just for the um, sake of this video, we'll get the light back out and put them under the enhanced lighting. All right, so again... Super Mandarin Hypo next to Super Mandarin under enhanced lighting. All right, so please uh, like, subscribe, share this video. Um, I'm sorry if I offended somebody. Uh, not really, but you know this is just the information that, that we have, and that's what we're putting out there. And I hope you all enjoyed. hope this sheds some light on the Mandarin project. Got anything else you want to say? Nope. Deuces.